All right, extension-loving Brad Stevens strikes again. This time, it's locking up Drew Holiday reportedly on a four-year, $135 million extension. couple of big takeaways right off the top one. Celtics have pretty much secured their investment. Now, you think about they gave up Robert Williams and Malcolm Brogdon and first-round picks to make the deal to bring Drew Holiday in. There was a risk that it could be as little as a year. Drew's now taken that option year off the table and extended at a number that I have to admit, I guess that'd be my number two on the takeaway list. The number that it comes in, average annual value of 33.8 million, I actually think is a little bit lower. Uh, There does seem to be some bit of compromise here. Drew's going to take a couple million dollars off of next season's salary, which was going to be about $37.5 million before bonuses, which might have kicked it up to $39 million. Celtics can use that money to help fund a roster that is becoming very, very expensive very quickly. And I guess that's the third takeaway here. Celtics, when you think about Jalen Brown's Supermax, will hit the books this year. Peyton Pritchard's extension kicks in next year. Um, You've got Jason Tatum will sign probably the richest contract in basketball. And that won't kick in for another year after this. But then there's a Derek White extension to navigate. And so... You just start thinking about it, and the Celtics are becoming very, very expensive. Now, they've gotten deals done with both Drew Holiday and Kristaps Porzingis that are pretty palpable, that will allow you to at least keep this core together for the next, you know, we'll get through, uh, probably get into next year. It it also depends on what happens this postseason, but um, you have flexibility in terms of trying to get off that money. I just think... You know, you probably got to, you, things would have to go bad to start looking to get under that second apron um, and try to give yourself ways to navigate this roster. Uh, but the most important thing is that they get the deal done. And now you go into the summer with a little bit more confidence. You're not looking at a situation like in 2019 when Al Horford was able to opt out of that final year and took the money down in Philadelphia and kind of left you scrambling to compensate. Uh, like I said, I think this gives Drew some peace of mind as well. Not only is he secure going into the playoffs, but you start thinking about Team USA over the summer. He's protected long term uh, with that contract and can sort of go full full go into that to that event uh, coming off whatever happens in the Celtics off season. But as I kind of started in this video, Brett Stevens just loves extensions. We used to joke all the time. Danny Ainge was not a fan of extensions well brad since he's taken over two plus seasons here al Kristaps, Jalen, pritchard drew rob josh richardson marcus smart jason tatum and Derek white are up next and uh brad really loves kind of getting those pieces and getting them locked up long term and takes some of the guesswork out of uh out of their mind lets them focus on the task at hand and let's face it Every little bit of energy you can put towards that quest for Banner 18, especially considering how the team feels right now about its chances, is for the best. So one more thing, another another checkbox checked here before the Celtics hit the postseason with Drew Holiday's extension finished up.